Hello dear friends and colleagues. Today I'd like to discuss another important topic which is common in exam also common in your practical life. Uh, it is adult onset steel disease. Uh, before going to discuss I'd like to share a story this is a real story. After that, I'd like to discuss about adult onset steel disease. Okay. One Bangladeshi guy, 23 years of age, he went Maldives. There he developed fever. Fever was high. Two times in a day, he experienced fever, two peak in the evening, one peak. He went to doctor there and uh, admitted into hospital and uh, investigated all possible uh, causes, for all possible causes, but still his fever was not controlled. First of all, they did CBC and found that WBC count 23,000 and need to fill more than 90%. So they thought it is infection. For that reason, they prescribed one medicine and thought it may be due to um, infections inside the body and fever with uh, neutrophilic leukocytosis, so prescribed meropenem. But after getting meropenem, he didn't respond. His ESR was high, his other complaints was throat pain, and they found that he has got lymph adenopathy. So they did biopsy from lymph node, cervical lymph node. Um, they thought that it may be um, malignancy, or tuberculosis, something like that, because of high ESR. But it was normal. He uh, had history of sore throat. That, that was the first sign of uh, uh, of this man. So, after getting full course of meropenem, he didn't improve. So, uh, it is uh, uh, 15 days already passed, but. Uh, no response, so they did CT scan of the whole abdomen. Maybe there is abscess in the body, but it was normal. Only there was hepatosplenomegaly. They did chest x ray, there was no um, pneumonia or other thing, but uh, there was some pleural effusion. So uh, they thought it may be either malignancy or tuberculosis somewhere they are missing and uh, uh, the, the pattern of fever in the morning and in the evening rise they thought it may be malaria so they did malaria test also but it was negative and he got one course of malaria but it is not uh, the fever is was not controlled uh, in the meantime he said that the, he has got some rashes in the abdomen and uh, it was also consulted by a skin specialist as a dermatitis and given steroid cream. It was not responding. Then uh, he told that uh, poor appetite, fever, muscle pain. So he was. Uh, uh, treated as a case of pyrexia of unknown origin. After 15 days in hospital admissions, getting all the investigations, it is not responding. His uh, repeat CBC, total blood count, complete blood count, again, neutrophilic leukocytosis and uh, WBC was that time 25,000, increasing rather than decreasing after taking 
they gave doxycycline also. Maybe it is atypical something, but it was not responding. He came back to Bangladesh and admitted in our ward. In that case, when I took history, he said that I couldn't uh, walk. I asked, why? Because of your weakness? Because already he lost his weight, poor appetite, and he was thinking that I will die. Then uh, he said, no, I have joint pain. So I saw his knee joint is very, very painful and tender. So uh, he was again investigated as a case of pyrexia of unknown origin, bone marrow was taken, uh, and it was normal. He, he then thought that it, is, it may be connective tissue disease disorder. So they did ANA and rheumatoid factors also came normal. One thing we got, the ferritin level was very, very high. So uh, again started meropenum, thinking that it is, probably there is antibiotic resistance. But after getting five days, it is not responding, then patient was very hopeless. Uh, then one, one day we had taken another opinion from another experienced uh, physician. He came and he gave one medicine, he diagnosed one case, it is adult onset still disease, and he gave one medicine and the next day the fever was subsiding dramatically and three days we gave that medicine what was the medicine that is steroid patient become well three days and on uh, steroid he left the hospital after fighting one and a half months so this is actually adult onset still disease sometimes it is treated as a case of pyroxia of unknown origin. Uh, uh, there are some criteria to diagnose. Before that, uh, adult ancestral disease actually it is the adult form of systemic juvenile idiopathic arthritis or arthropathy. And it is similar to that of rheumatoid arthritis, but you will not get rheumatoid factor positive. So it is seronegative arthritis. ANA was negative, this patient, and uh, rheumatoid factor was also negative. So, ESR was high. This is seronegative arthropathy. It occurs uh, in, in the adult, age group 16 to 35. It never occurs after 60 years of age. So, that man was 23. So, this is the ideal age for this patient. Okay? So, patient was having high fever, 39, 140. We gave paracetamol, uh, injectable, one gram, but it was not controlled. So, fever, was the, for, uh, there is some uh, diagnostic criteria for adult onset still disease. There are different uh, criteria, different person is given, some major criteria, some minor criteria. So, I'd like to discuss about that. And if you remember this story, that is real story, you will find all the criteria for diagnosis of adult onset still disease, okay? Um, I would like to talk about Yamaguchi criteria. So Yamaguchi criteria, first criteria is fever. Fever will be high, more than 39 degrees centigrade and more than one week and fever in a day there will be two times so people will think that it may be malaria but it is not okay first criteria this major criteria second criteria is salmon rash salmon pig crash and interestingly you know this rash usually become more prominent during fever okay so this is one of the criteria typical rash it will be in the trunk 
and in the abdomen and patient was treated as a dermatitis basically it was salmon pink crash it is not itchy so this is second criteria and uh, in, uh, uh, i already mentioned that it will change its redness during the fever it will increase redness okay third criteria arthralgia patient said that i couldn't walk because of arthralgia or arthropathy arthritis with that knee joint wrist joint other joint can be involved but knee joint more involved okay this third criteria and uh, fourth criteria is leukocytosis patient was having 23000 uh leuko uh, uh, that is wbc count so the criteria somewhere it is said that more than 10000 somewhere it is said more than 15000 this patient fulfill that criteria and minor criteria is first symptoms appeared i said that that, that patient was having sore throat yes one of the minor criteria sore throat lymphadenopathy cervical lymphadenopathy patient Uh, that limb node was tender and uh, taken for biopsy i said about that patient so second criteria that minor criteria limb and neuropathy hepatosplenomegaly patient may have hepatosplenomegaly so patient uh, people will think that it may be lymphoma it may be hematological malignancy for that region uh, that clinician uh, had done bone marrow and limb node biopsy but we didn't get anything okay then rheumatoid factor it will be negative ana will be negative these are the minor criteria okay and if we we'll, uh, do liver function test you will find abnormal liver function test sgpt and sgot will be high ferritin level usually uh, not the criteria but uh, as acute phase protein it was very very high around 15000 okay so uh, for diagnosis we need five criteria two major at least two or more and three minor three or more so uh, there uh, should be five criteria for diagnosis of adult onset still disease so that man uh, is having fever more than 7 days arthralgia more than 15 days it is one of the criteria salmon pink crash leukocytosis four major criteria he fulfilled and minor category he has got sore throat spleno hepatosplenomegaly lymphadenopathy and rheumatoid factor and ana negative sgpt is due to high so he has got all the criteria so we can say that that man is having adult onset still disease the cause is not, uh, not known but this patient may present like a case, like a sign symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis okay so investigation already we mentioned cbc will do esr crp will be high serum ferritin will go more already we exclude other disease this is a disease of exclusion so malaria we did malaria uh film negative Bla- uh, bone marrow limb node biopsy ct scan uh rheumatoid factor and anti- uh, nuclear antibody negative so all already i mentioned uh, liver function test gpt got and cystic cell film neural effusion this is also there are some criteria of this disease that uh serocytis can be present in, in this case so these all criteria according to the symptoms according to the involvement we did all the test and treatment initial treatment should be a uh, painkiller anesthetics or aspirin if not respond then we will go for high dose steroid what we gave that patient and dramatically responded 
Uh, if not respond, then we'll go for uh, method to exit. Uh, if not, then biological agent like Anna Kunra uh, or infliximab, um, cyclosporin. Unfortunately, there is no cure, but we can control some, some patient uh, may improve after one year of treatment. So as soon as the symptoms will be controlled, we'll taper the steroid dose and we'll also use steroid firing, sparring agent like methotrexates or other immunosuppressive agent. And he need um, a proper follow-up. Uh, we'll see whether there is any uh, CRP uh, ESR high or not. So, in exam, how will you diagnose or find that uh, adult onset still disease? So, when there will be seronegative arthropathy, young age, and sore throat lymphadenopathy, patient uh, give typical type of rash, arthralgia and uh, my patient will have uh, fever uh, more than 39 and not responding by antibiotic other other things so disease of exclusion we exclude and will go for adult onset still disease so i think it is all about adult onset still disease and uh, if you remember the story just will I think we'll, uh, we will know the, uh, the disease properly. Just remember that story. And I think you can answer all the questions if adult onset still disease come. Um, my next video will be on another hot topic. Stay with me. Subscribe my channel to uh, know the latest upload video. Thank you very much.